Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, this video is going to be kind of like a part two to a video I posted about a week or two ago on my Sephora wish list um, during the VIB sale. For the most part, when I did my first shopping, I really stayed on trend with the things that I had on my list. But <laughs> for the second part, when I ordered online, I kind of went and was like, mm, I didn't see these products before, let me try them out. And I kind of deviated from some of the stuff that I had on my list. So, yeah, I don't know the total of my order. I'll definitely put it somewhere here so that I can tell you guys how much I really truly spent. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is what I picked up in store during the first week of the VIB sale. And I got this, I believe, the first day, which was like November 3rd or something like that, November 4th. And, you know, I got, I got a couple of stuff. <laughs> so the first thing they give you is kind of a Sephora tote. They always do this. I think it's really cute. I have so many of these bags. You, ne you can never go wrong with any of these bags. So I will definitely be keeping that. The first thing that I see is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, the Universal Lip Luminizer. I have been wanting this for a while now since it launched and i just never could bite the bullet it does retail for 18 dollars, but i was just like uh i don't know if it's worth it it's it's really nice if you like a sheer gloss it doesn't really give that much of a color maybe it doesn't give that much of a color to me because i have really pigmented dark lips so maybe that's why it doesn't give me that much color but i do love it i love that it's not sticky it makes your lips feel really moisturized and really juicy and if that's what you're looking for I highly suggest going into Sephora and swatching it or picking it up because Sephora does have a really great return policy so if you don't like it you can always return it and get your money back. The next thing that I got which is a repurchase is the NARS Pure Radiant to Tint Moisturizer Now I usually get the shade Alaska which is light too but I decided to try Groenland, I'm so butchering that, which is light 3. I feel like I could go up a little bit because I feel like Alaska is a little too light and Groenland is part of the light family but it's a little bit more pink, which I have a yellow undertone so I don't know why I picked this up but you know, it, it swashed good in the store. Those Sephora lights are deceiving but I could definitely still use it. I kind of want it somewhat in the medium family because I feel like that would match me a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I really love this. This is a repurchase for me and I can't say enough great things about this moisturizer. It is pricey, I believe it's either $42 or $49, I'll put the price somewhere here. Uh, but you know, with the 20% off sale, it's definitely worth checking out. The next item is another thing that was on my original list and it's the Once Upon a Prime uh, First Aid Beauty Kit and it comes with a couple of their radiance pads as well as their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, like that is my jam i love it you get 10 pads 10 of the radiance pads and you get the moisturizer and it retails for 14 dollars the original value is 20 i am mad at it i've never tried their radiance pads i have a couple lying around but i just haven't used them but the coconut skin smoothing primer moisturizer that that's my holy grail i'm almost done with my first sample and i was like you know what? i'm gonna pick this up because i really want to try the radiance pads because i think i only have three and i was like no nah, i need, I need I need, <laughs> I need to get something that I love and a value set because why not? It gives me the chance to try two products instead of one. I really love it. I love the set. I think it's cute and it was a great deal for me. One thing that I knew that I wanted to get from the Sephora VIB sale were lashes. Now, I really wanted the, the Lily lashes, the two pairs. It was like Miami and, and I forgot the other name of the other one. And it was for $40 and I was like, yes, I want to get it. But the moment... I kept taking it out of my cart because I wasn't a hundred percent sure and then I saw the reviews on Sephora and people were saying it was a horrible lash and it's this and I kind of regret not getting it but I was like uh, I don't want to get a pair of lashes and they're just not that good I'd rather just you know wait for Black Friday and see if Lily Lashes their website themselves has a sale on their lashes I'll definitely purchase from them rather than you know risk it and these lashes not be as good as you know people were talking about them but I did go with a pair of lashes and they are the Iconic Huda Beauty Lashes. These are in the style Noel number 14. They're faux mink. I don't know how that works. But I thought they were really cute. I've never tried any Huda Beauty products. So this will be my first, well, my first one. 
and I think that they're a really stunning style they were about you know $18 you know you can't go wrong so I can't wait to do some videos with this look especially some holiday looks because these lashes are flirty they are voluminous they're long and I am here for it another item that was on my original list was the Tatcha bestseller set. This retails for $59. In this set, you get the Pure One Step Camellia Camellia Cleansing Oil, the Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder, the Water Cream, and the ever infamous Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Can we talk about this box? I love purple. Purple is such a regal color for me, and oh, it's so beautiful. And when you open the box, this is what it looks like. It has two pamphlets. It talks about... I guess they accidentally put two of these little pamphlet things in here. But this is what it looks like on the inside. They're so cute. They're so cute and you get a little trial. So I'm really excited to try it. And for $59, if you guys know anything about Tatcha, Tatcha is really expensive. So, um, you know, for me that was a steal. And with 20% off that $59 set, you definitely cannot go wrong with this. So during my initial purchase in store, I really wanted to stay on track with the things that I put on my list. I didn't want to really deviate because if you know anything about Sephora, you can go around in store and you see so many new things. And then you just want to buy everything and it becomes a hot mess. Like you just don't, you get overwhelmed because you're like, well, I didn't have this on my list, but I see it now and I want it. So I'm going to add another $20. It just gets very overwhelming. But... I've been seeing these on YouTube for a while, and I really wanted to get them, and it is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. I did swatch these in stores because I didn't know they were in stores yet, and I got the shade Light My Fire, which is the perfect orangey red. Now, I love the packaging. I love the matte black. I love just how the NARS is on the top, and you can see the color through. It's like frosted glass. I love the doe foot. I love... I love everything about it. It's super matte. It doesn't dry out your lips. I love the color. It's it's stunning. It is pricey. It's about, I think, I could be wrong, $24. I'll put the price right here. It's quite expensive for liquid lipstick, but I, I liked it. And there are many more colors that I want from this collection, but I'm going to wait a little bit because, you know, I just wanted to try out the one to make sure that I really liked it. And for right now, I can see it and I really do. So another item that was on my original list that I heard so many people rave about and it is the Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow. Now, I don't know if I'm using it wrong guys, but I just, I don't like it. I don't, maybe I need to try it before I put on foundation, but I don't like it above my foundation. I feel like I look like a grease ball. It doesn't matter if I keep my hand out super far like this or if I put it close, like I just feel like I look like a grease ball. I mean, it's not that expensive, so I don't really mind it, and I really want to try it, you know, underneath my foundation, but I just feel like I look like a grease ball, and that is not okay. Like, uh, I had such high hopes for it. If you want something that looks more, like, glossy instead of metallic or kind of, like, glow from within, I highly suggest looking into this because it does give you that wet look, which is very typical in, like, editorial and whatnot, but it's just... It's a mad product for me. I don't really love it, but I don't, like hate it either you know it's just I, I need to play with it a little bit more so the next thing is actually a 100 point perk and it is a smaller sample of the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer I told you I liked it and I saw the 100 point perk so I was like throw it in the bag I need you <laughs> I need you <laughs> and the last thing is the rubber mask skin clear lover by Dr. Jart this is a repurchase it was on my original list it is bomb.com if you find that you're breaking out in certain areas. I highly suggest picking up this mask. Now it is $14 and a bit expensive for a sheet mask, but it is bomb. It works. I don't know what they put in it, but I think it is amazing. It really cleared out my skin. I don't really break out, to be honest with you guys. I don't break out often. I get like hormonal breakouts or, you know, if I eat too much sugar or salt, I do break out. But this worked, like, my skin felt so beautiful. Like, it looked radiant, it looked clear, it looked clean. I don't know what they put in this, but this is an amazing mask. So if you feel like you're breaking out uh, a little bit more than normal, I highly suggest checking it out. Even if it's just once, $14 is steep. But if you're using it once, see it and see if you like it. Because, hey girl, 
Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you just, you know, need a really good mask and I highly suggest this one. So for the second part of the sale, I purchased online and um, I bought things that were completely off my list. I don't know if I bought, I, bu I did buy one thing that was on my list but in a smaller quantity and I just spent pretty petty again. So um, don't judge me. So the first thing that I picked up was the Sephora Cake and Bake by, which is a sponge that they collabed with Veramona. Everyone's been talking about the sponge, you know, the way that it's angled, it's like a rectangular and it is pricey. I think it's like 11 or $14. And I wanted to try it to see if it worked, if it works well to, you know, cut contours and into blend so I'll definitely be giving this a try. So another sponge that I picked up from the Sephora VIV sale which was basically just something that I wanted to hit a specific number during my purchase and that's the Sephora the Perfectionist Airbrush Sponge. It's so cute. Um, I'm really excited to try it so maybe I'll do like a battle of this one versus the Viamona one. But this one is definitely cheaper. I think this one retails for $5 and this one's $14 but maybe I'll do a little battle on my on my channel of which one works better. Um, for the Sephora brand beauty blenders. Something that wasn't on my original list or anything I was really looking at but I wanted after I did some research is the Kate Tomerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. I don't break out on my face but I do break out in my chest area and a lot of it's because I'm not eating properly. I'm shooting myself. I will eat better after Thanksgiving because you know Thanksgiving is that's a cheat. That's a cheat week. <laughs> um, but I tend to freak out there, so I, I want to see if this would work. And if not, you know, hopefully I could use it for something else, or if anything, I'll return it. But I've heard great, I've heard great things about this. A lot of people like it, and it's comparable to the Mario Badescu acne treatment, like the dry one. That one's really good as well. Well, this particular set wasn't on my list. There was a set from this brand that was on it, but it was constantly out of stock. It kept going in and out of stock. And that is the Stila Eye for Elegance. It has six of the basically glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. That's what I have on my eyes today. I have Kitten. And they are completely different. The glitter and glow ones, which is basically a new formula. It gives kind of like a wet. Like a wet. No. Which one is it? Yeah, the glitter and glow gives kind of like this really wet, very very editorial look if that's what you're looking for it doesn't give you a lot of like high shine pigment if you like that glossy look i highly suggest you know the the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow from Sela. but if you want something that's like metallically bam in your face like i want to beam for new year's i suggest the originals which is the shimmer and glow because that one is amazing it's really pigmented i don't know why i was sleeping on it for so long um but they are bomb.com so if you guys noticed, I did air quotes earlier when I talked about the Huda Beauty eyelashes. And that's because I picked up two other Huda Beauty lip products. Aren't they so... These are so cute. And these are basically their contour and strobe lip set. This is in Bombshell and Ritzy. And this one is in Trendsetter and Snobby. When you open up the tin, you get a full-size lip contour pencil. And you also get two mini kind of like liquid lipsticks. So the first one is the Liquid Matte, which is their shade in Bombshell. And then you get a lip strobe, which is in Red Sea. That's what I have on my lips today. I've never tried any of the Huda Beauty lip products because I'm not really a big fan of liquid lipsticks, to be honest. Not because I don't think that they're great, and I do own a lot of them, but my lips are extremely dry, so I tend to stay away from them, and I've been really falling in love with glossy lips again. But when I saw these in store, I was like, I need to have them, and... <laughs> This one, I don't really go for like peachy colors, but it's like a peachy nude. Peachy pink nude, so I was like, you know, let me try this one. And I love like orangey, like browny lips, so I was definitely going for this one. And they have, I think about six of these in different colors, or four, anywhere from four to six different sets. And I think they're a great deal. They're $25. You're paying $25 for a full-size lip pencil, and then you're getting mini liquid lipsticks and a mini lip stroke. Now, on, in all honesty, I don't use the same liquid lipstick every day, so I don't mind the price for the minis, or I don't mind the mini size, but I really like them. If you're looking for something where you could do a full lip look and have different colors, so you could have a powdier lip, I highly suggest looking into these. I think that they're really great, and the price is great. And once you're done with the tin, you can use them for something else, put them in the background. I think that they're cute and stunning, and I'm glad I picked them up because I was teetering 
on whether I should or not, but I'm glad I picked them up because I really am enjoying it. At least for today, I think that it looks stunning and it feels stunning. It doesn't feel dry and it's not tacky or sticky, which I really like. The last item is actually a list that was on my wish list and it is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Net. I only got the five set because this is, I think, $16 compared to the 30, which is like 88 and the 60 which is like 148 and I did love these like a year or two ago so I didn't want to like buy the 30 set and realize that my skin doesn't like it anymore or maybe you know with my newfound attitude on skincare I just realized it wasn't as good so I did get the 5 set and if I do like them then next year you know I'll definitely buy the 60 the 60 count set but I love these or I love them I don't know if I love them anymore I did love them at the time so I'm really excited to try them again that's all I got in my Sephora VIB haul. Let me know in the comments what you guys got. I'm really excited to know what you what you picked up. Did you pick up anything that I picked up? Did you pick up something that I didn't that you really love that was really worth the price? Let it go know in your comments. I really want to know what you guys picked up. I feel like I should pick up more foundations and perfumes during these sales, but I'm not a perfume person at all. And foundation, I feel like I'm always trying them and changing them, so I don't want to stick to one. Also... Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this type of video, haul videos, let it go now. And when you're on your way to that like button, I know you see that subscribe button, subscribe. And when you do, tell your friends so that they can tell their friends and their friends and their friends and their friends and their friends. And their friends so that we can all be part of this great big familia. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter. All my handles will be down below in the description bar. Follow me there. You know you want to. As always, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.